What's good, y'all? Let's take a look at the offensive line. This was requested from Set It Off Chris. I call him Set It Off Chris because he sets off my live streams to call in first. He said, yo, Vach, I want to know about Zach Martin and the game that he played. And, of course, if we're going to look at Zach Martin, we might as well look at the whole offensive line. But, damn, I just started watching the offensive line. I was like, bruh, 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 the night ain't terrible. Bruh, bruh, the night, bruh, the night, all right. You know what I mean? So this is going to be like an O-line Zach Martin, Brandon Knight assessment, okay? Now, this first play that I wanted to show you, I really wanted to show by how well the offensive line blocked. I'm going to go wide view first, then we're going to go cartel. Uh, I wanted to show how well this O-line blocked, man, but let's talk about drive killers real quick, right? And I ain't want to talk about drive killers this week because I talked about drive killers a bunch last week, but boy, <laughs> you know, if you just want to talk about opportunities and leaving points on the field, man, this is leaving points on the field. People say, well, that's it's it's coaching when you leave points on the field. It's undisciplined when you leave points on the field. Well, not really. Sometimes it's, it's just a bad decision. Uh, this was blocked perfectly up front. And Ezekiel Elliott is in this two on one situation. Him and young Travis Frederick versus this uh, DB right here. And with a little more patience, with a little more Le'Veon Bell on the other side type patience. We would have got this block sealed. Z could have took this thing to the outside. We'd have had seven whole points out here. Um, but we couldn't get that. We got a little uh we got a little antsy there. And I'm like, damn, that's a whole seven points, man. Or six points, because one of my heart gonna make that extra. But uh, but we ain't talking about that though. I wanted to simply talk about the um, the O line, right, or just you know the the uh, blockers here because we got the tight ends moving. They uh, they they did a pretty good job blocking as well. You got Zach Martin, you got Brandon Knight right here. Both those guys, <clears throat> both 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 those guys set this thing off. Um, whether it be Brandon Knight's. He's being the last O lineman on the line. He's gonna have to. Um, he's gonna have to um, uh, connect with this base block here. Then Zach and Travis are gonna go behind him. Connor Williams is gonna climb to the uh, second level to get forty six up out of here. Cool. That's done. So now all you got is. Um, you got Zach Martin right here being nasty, filthy, disgusting. Then you got Travis going upfield with Ezekiel two on one with number 20 right here. Now, like I said earlier, Zeke was a little more patient. This would have been a damn touchdown, man. We were able to run the ball versus the, uh, the, uh, Jets, but I'm going to sit down and do a long Zeke film study just to kind of see what's going on with there. You know, people seem to feel like Zeke ain't, um, he's not living up to what he once was or whatever. And sure, I'll take a look and see what I can find if I can find something. I'm not perfect, but <laughs> boy, but with Brandon's block and Zach's block and Travis leading in front, this should have been a touchdown, but it wouldn't. Let's, but let's keep watching though. Good job by you guys up front, man. Zach and Travis are going to pass out work like job core. Brandon Knight's going to get a solid little block, give up a little bit of ground, but he's 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 giving up just enough ground uh, to be able to read and react. I'm fine with that, long as he ain't sitting in Dak's lap or anything like that. Um, Connor and trash ass Cam Fleming, okay, yeah, they cool, they cool. And I hate to be that nasty with with Cam Fleming, but boy. Um, like I said, man, I'm not a big fan of told you so culture or take a L culture, but I ain't like Cam Fleming last year. <laughs> I'm consistent with that. I ain't like Cam last year. I wanted Cam to go. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of glaring right now. However, when all this thing gets cleaned up, like when Leo feels better and, and Tyrant comes back, I wouldn't mind Brandon Knight being my – my swing guy, you know what I mean? And there's a couple more blocks I want to show y'all, but it's, but if, but if we can get a little bit of competition going, Brandon Knight will be cheaper. Cam Fleming, his contract won't be guaranteed next year. And I would love to make that move considering, uh, plus, uh, plus Brandon can also play inside, but let's keep watching. The more I think about it though, like this Jets D line ain't terrible. Like, um, Quentin Williams, one of my favorite D linemen of all time. Leonard Williams, one of my favorite D linemen of all time. And there's just a couple other guys scattered around this offensive line. Like they, uh, this defensive line, they can give you problems if you let them. You know what I mean? Um, but that's what I like about, you know, playing matchups. You know what I mean? Like, like you can have a great D line, but I think we have a pretty good O line right here too, man. Um, like I said, man, Zach Martin just just gonna get hands inside on this dude. And once Zach get hands inside, you you know you dead as fried chicken. You know Zach may drop his butt, pop his feet, and give up a little bit of ground there, but that's just to give himself room to work with. I mean, you don't want him to break his back or anything like that. But um, but uh, popping his feet, being able to drop his butt, stopping ninety four is that Quentin Williams, I believe. Um, good block there from Zach Martin. Brandon Knight, 
uh, proving that he can deal with a little bit of length. Now, if 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 anything, when Brandon Knight came in, he was assessed as a uh, as a short armed tackle. That's why they kind of wanted to play him at at at, uh, at guard a little bit. But this is one of the oldest secrets in the book. Like, hey man, if you want to long arm me and like you playing long arm game, then cool. I'm gonna hit you in your joints. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a old that's an old line secret, man. If you're dealing with a D line with with longer arms, you know, pop them in the elbow and make them not want to do that to you much more. You know, that's very uncomfortable. The, I, I will hyper extend your stuff like <laughs> jazz off me. You know what I mean? Uh, hands in the hands in the face. I don't think the uh, the referees call that, but I ain't gonna keep you know talking crazy about them or whatever. But uh, Brandon Knight absolutely handled this uh, this long arm rush pretty well you see him dropping his butt right there see that anchor point right this this is this is what i mean by giving up ground and dropping your anchor at this point right here brandon was going back but at this point when he go ah right there look at him ah everything stops so good job there and your left side yeah cam up there getting back here but it's okay connor's cool all right I enjoy talking offensive line. If y'all haven't noticed, I said in my other video, Greg Williams was dialing up some nasty little, uh, nasty little blitzes there. And I think the O line did a pretty good job of, um, of picking these things up, man. They like to do a lot of gap exchanges, a lot of movement up front. And if you take a look at it, let me really slow it down. If you take a look at it, 53 is going to bail out. Um, 46 is going to take, uh, the defensive left a gap or whatever. So that'll be like the backside a to us or whatever. Um, we see 46 taking the backside a 95 taking the backside B. Um, we're going to see this guy way from the outside take C gap, but the key to this is 60 going way front side. A right. He's starting off as a, uh, backside C player, but he's going to go all the way to the front side. A. what I liked about it. You can take a look and see here. Z uh, Zach is going to pass, uh, 95 onto Brandon. Cool. Travis is, is going to engage, but he's going to keep his eyes open like he's supposed to. He sees 60 coming. He's going to pass 46 along to Zach. And this is what's so dope about Zach. Zach notices that if 95 is going to disappear and I ain't blocking nobody, you need to get back inside. Um, and that's what, what, uh, Zach did here. Uh, back inside would be a gap for Zach Martin. So Zach's going to get back, uh, back inside, take over 46. But with Travis keeping his eyes open, he sees 60 coming over the top and he just comes in and take over there and even even you know connor williams keeping his eyes up man connor williams gonna help out with uh with uh cam there see his guy bail out boom 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 connor's gonna you know have enough awareness to come over the top just in case travis needed him you know what i'm saying and this thing was blocked up pretty nice up front Dak was able to get the ball out good job o-line Here's another situation too. These uh these uh Jets defenders, they like to engage and get off and then bring another guy um in the uh I guess the parallel gap or the um the adjacent gap or whatever. Somebody tell me the actual geometry word for there uh, for that. But what I mean by that is uh, when the when the end comes off and engages Brandon Knight, like he engages Brandon on 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 purpose to try to get this outside blitzer free, right? But Brandon did a good job of of just keeping his head up the whole game. You know, what I mean, keeping his head up and finding the other blocks, finding the the blitzer, so to speak, right? Now, Zach sees this immediately because Zach, you know, Zach ain't got nobody to block. And he's just, you know, looking for somebody to block. But Brandon noticed that this engagement was coming. Got the guy off of him. See that right there? Got the guy off of him. And then came over to get hands on the blister. That's fantastic. I love that. I love that play. Let's take a look at this. Boo! Job, young brand. Boy, I just know Cam Fleming would have got ate up over there. This ain't me hating on Cam Fleming. It's just me appreciating Brandon Knight and, and what would happen if it wasn't him. That's all I'm saying. Uh, what about Connor and uh, and Cam? Not terrible by Cam. Cam getting pushed around, but not but not terrible. Uh, Connor getting pushed back too, but not terrible by him neither. Travis, Travis is fine. All right. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. 
Cut the court. I think this is one of the plays that Chris was concerned about because as an offensive lineman, you can win all day, but messing around with the broadcast view, you lose one time or you, you know, you look funny one time. They'll just replay it or replay it and have the audience thinking that a, that a bad game was afoot. But, um, Zach Martin kind of had a little bit of, a little bit of trouble here. What's the down and distance here? Give me 30 seconds, y'all. Let me see. The down and distance was third and one. Uh, I think we converted here. Uh, did we convert here? No, we did not. We did not. We did not convert here yet. So, yeah, man, Zach, Zach Martin, man, look, he just got into a, he just got into a situation, man. <laughs> is that, uh, is that, is that Quentin Williams? Up? Hey, Quentin, Quentin is fantastic. Uh, and, you know, Zach beat him all day and, you know, Zach got got this time. I don't know what you want me to say. You know, what you, what you want me to tell you? Um, who else is this? Travis also got beat. Travis, da, da, da. What, what, what's, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this here is, is uh, what I'm looking at. This Travis and Connor double team. He just split the double team. Actually, no, 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 no. This will happen. This will happen. Okay, this will happen. This is supposed to be a combo. So, yeah, uh, Connor and Travis are comboing this down lineman to this linebacker. And when the linebacker comes up, Travis got to get off of him to go get the uh, to go get the linebacker. So, I need Connor to be a little more um, on this this tackles uh left shoulder to, to kind of cover him up a little bit and connor wasn't connor's connor's kind of blocking the back half of him when travis comes off connor needs to be ready to overtake the whole body there and he wasn't so a combination of that and zach's dude and this blitzer coming was that a blitzer coming over the top no that was just cam no, that was Jason Witten's guy. All right, cool. So Jason, Jason Witten's guy, Zach Martin's guy, and Connor Williams' guy. They all came down to hit Zeke in the mouth. So uh, this was probably the one play that uh, – or the one of the few plays that Chris was was uh, talking about when he was asking, was Zach Martin okay? But got to be right there, though. And on this last play, I just wanted to show a, show a gap exchange from uh, uh, Zach Martin and Brandon Knight. The end and the, and the three tech are going to do a little stunt. And they just pick it up nicely, man. These guys, the, the, the Jets front seven, they're coached really well in terms of how they run their stunts. And, you know, the Cowboys are too. Uh, I, just, I, just like, I just like these guys a little better, how they do it. But that's their Greg Williams stuff. They don't just switch. They don't just change spots. They don't just switch gaps. They get upfield first they get their ass upfield and they let you get about a good three steps into your kick before they start switching look at look at brandon knight well actually look at his feet here let's 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 uh let's watch brandon knight's feet and then we'll see when when uh when 60 crosses face with him right oh, one two three four like like four quick steps and then he gonna flip sides on him you know what i'm saying but shots out to Brandon Knight for being an aware football player. Shots out to his feet, his movement, and shots out to you know, you know, uh, to to his fight. You know what I mean? Like Brandon Knight wasn't as wasn't as good as Lael because Lael was you know, lael has been pretty good this year. But um, you know, Brandon Knight did great for his expectation, I would say. And Cam was Cam, but he didn't get you killed. I, you know, just watching the whole film, Cam Fleming did not get you killed. However. Boy, you can't wait till seventy seven and seventy one come back. Um, if it's up to me, if I had to pick a pick a swing tackle, I'm picking Brandon Knight. I'm picking Brandon. What's his number? Let's see, Brandon. Sixty nine. Any nasty? Sixty nine. Sixty nine. That's why I want to be my damn swing tackle. All right. Uh, this is film session number two. Okay. The third one's probably going to be like a like an Eagles preview or something like that. We touch. We touch defense. We touch a little bit of offense. Uh, let's touch a little bit of next week and see what happens there. All right? Y'all hold it down, man. Be canceling my cable. I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year. Or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is this multi-screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. That you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Sticks, Smart TVs, Tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. 
Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.